Hey, I'm Justin. Welcome back to Make, Build, Modify. I'm going to make a coat rack out of reclaimed lumber and rebar. This is half inch rebar. When you get it from the construction supply, they call it number four. That's because there's four eighths in half inch rebar. Or four eighths in half inch. It's really uh, rusty because it's out in the weather, so I clean it up with a wire brush to make it shiny. I'm going to mark this at 12 inches. That's just the size that I chose for my hooks. I played around with bending the hooks beforehand and uh, 12 inches seemed to work out fine. So I'm cutting it up in it with a rebar shear. This is a shear and bender. It's a tool that uh, masons use for uh, doing reinforcement for footings and, and block walls and things like that. And there's all four of them. I need to round over the edge of the bar so that it won't tear the hats and coats. So I'm just running that on the, the grinding wheel there. So I have a, a hook off camera that I'm using to compare the bends to. So I'm pulling it off and, and comparing as I bend. Um, it's a good idea to get your sample hook and then kind of use that as a guide for the rest of the hooks. I bent these large enough to where I can drill holes into the rebar. There they are, all four of them, so that I can uh, get in there with a the drill and run screws through them. I'm doing the center punch for the drill locations right here. I think I started with uh, an, eighth, an eighth inch drill bit, went all the way through in both locations, and then stepped up to a 3 sixteenths, I think, something about that large. I just made it large enough for the screws that I was going to use to fasten this to the plank with, uh, so they could spin freely in that hole. This is a deburring tool or a countersink, and I'm using taper head screws, so they need to be tapered like that to flush out. I'm going to coat this with a clear enamel spray paint. Uh, I usually heat up small metal objects like this just to get the paint to dry faster. I really haven't had too much trouble with the finish being affected, uh, but you need to do your own experiments if you want to try this. This is a tread from an old stairway that I pulled from a barn. And I'm just gonna lightly sand it, kind of get the splinters off and kind of highlight some of the uh, grain. Next, I'm going to use uh, the router with a keyhole bit to establish my mounting brackets, I guess or a location to mount the screws. If you're not familiar, if you look at the bit, it's shaped kind of like a screw, and that's how it works. The screw goes into the keyhole and holds the plank to the wall. I used two coats of water-based polyurethane on this. It's typically pretty fast drying. I think it takes two hours. I did this overnight, but if you start early in the day, you can get two or three coats on, no problem. I'm not showing the whole process here. Uh, it looks a little sloppy, but I, I, I smoothed it out before I walked away from it. Here it is the next morning. This board is 28 inches, so I measured in four inches on each side to center the brackets and then split the 20 inches into thirds, about six and five eighths or so. And I'm marking with the combination square just to give myself a guide for square for the hooks when I install them. Now I didn't drill the holes uh, in the same location on every hook. 
they're very close but not perfect so I measured up from the bottom of the plank to establish the location for the first screw so that the bottom of the hook would be the same distance off the bottom of the plank. And I check each hook with a square just to make sure. These are just drywall screws. That's what I had. They were, they were dark enough and they seem to work fine. And here it is. Quick, easy rebar hat and coat rack. I have the tools and materials I used for this build listed in the description. And if you think I've earned it, please subscribe.